Hi guys, I'm Teresa. I've had this pattern for a while now. I forgot that I had it and I was going through my patterns and decided to bump it up to the top of my list on what I'm gonna do next because it's so funny. Okay, so it's a pattern from it's a pattern from 1966 and I love it so much. It's hilarious. Um, so without without further ado, I can't even I can't even talk about it because it cracks me up so much. It's so funny. So it's simplicity pattern 6806 right here. So I'm going to make this hat. Um, and then I'm going to make a face mask to go with it so I can be full PPE <laughs> with my hat and my mask. And yeah, I'll have to wear it out someplace. And <sighs> it's so funny. I'm going to spare you all the details of making it and just tell you some of the highlights. To mark the window, I use Taylor's chalk. The brim of the hat has three layers. One vinyl, a green flannel, and a cotton print. And the crown of the hat also has three layers, but no vinyl. Instead of the vinyl, it has interfacing. I used clothespins to stabilize the vinyl while I sewed it together. Later on, I used pins while I finished the window. So, I forgot to mention earlier that I'm hiding from my children in the garage, which is why I'm here instead of in my house, but I'm really excited to show you my PPE that I made, and uh, I made a little mask to go with it. So, all right, are you ready? <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I wanted to go and go to the store and see if anybody looked at me funny when I was wearing it, but then I decided that it was not very responsible during a pandemic to uh, just go and see if people stare at you while, while wearing a really goofy hat. So I didn't do that. That is my vintage PPE. Oh, and there was one thing that I would do different. I would use a different vinyl and just make sure that it's a little bit more see-through because this one kind of is, it's a little bit cloudy and it's kind of hard to see stuff. It ran small. It fit my preschooler better, better than it fit me, um, but I had to take about this much from the raw edge to make it fit comfortably. Otherwise it would have given me a really bad headache. It was a joy to make. <laughs> If you have any questions, put them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And I hope you guys are all healthy and taking care of yourself and I will see you next time. Bye.